the Sunday Athletics News and this week we have a long distance running T-Rex, we have the boat race and we do have news of a new half marathon world record. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and of course it is time for the Sunday Athletics News. Um, Happy Easter, hope you guys have all had a great weekend and are busy eating lots of Easter eggs. So yes, we do have quite a few stories that have occurred in the past seven days with athletics and of course we are going to mention the university boat race that took place yesterday, Easter Sunday, after a year's absence due to Covid. And we do have a new women's half marathon world record and a few other touching stories as well. So yes, let's get into it. So let's start with the university boat race. So the university boat race usually takes place on Easter Saturday, but this year it took place on Easter Sunday. And also the venue was moved from the River Thames to the great the River Great Ouse in Cambridgeshire, which hasn't happened on that river since 1944. It was moved to help reduce crowds that normally occur down the River Thames. Have to say that Cambridge took the double, both the men and the women's Cambridge team took the win over Oxford. So congratulations to all the rowers who took part, but especially Cambridge for doing the double on home soil. So yes, a new women's world record half marathon happened over the weekend in Istanbul in rainy and windy conditions. Ruth Chepnigetic won in one hour, four minutes and one second which is a new world record. Kibi Watt Candy won the men's um, half marathon in a course record in 59 minutes and 32 seconds. Here in Northern England on the podium 5k in Bowerford in Lancashire, GB's Beth Potter won in a new world record for 5k on road. She took the win in 14 minutes and 41 seconds. It is not official world record at the moment. It's still awaiting to see if it be official world record, but there's quite a few small, small print details that need to be signed off, like having certain people there, certain officials there, but we'll wait and see. But however it is, a fantastic, fantastic time for 5k in 14 minutes and 41 seconds. So on to cruising, <laughs> yes cruising but it does have an athletics ring to it. So six crew members on board the cruise ship Queen Victoria which is currently docked in Torquay on Easter Sunday, they plan to walk a marathon around the ship to raise funds for the RNLI. Each member had to walk 13 laps of the promenade deck within 24 hours. So the group collectively has completed a marathon in one day. Local racing has started taking place here in the UK. Honiton Running Club members were at the Fast Friday 10k on Good Friday and also the Plymouth Trail Marathon double weekend as well. Internationally, the Boeum Marathon in Thailand took place with over 20,000 runners. So it does show that hopefully soon large scale running events can take place in this current climate. A few weeks ago, I mentioned that Helen Glover, a G Olympic GB rower, is looking to 
come back to professional rowing? Well, she is in the, Europe, the, the GB team for the European Championships. This will be her first competitive race since Rio Olympics 2016. As I said, Helen, who is 34, decided to make a comeback after spending time on a rowing machine during lockdown one. Some more local news to Exeter. At the comeback 5000 at Battersea Park in the week, Devon runner Phil Norman won the men's elite 5000 in 13 minutes and 46 seconds. Having had the marathon trials last weekend, the British Olympic Association has confirmed the first seven members of the athletic squad for Tokyo Olympics. Chris Thompson, Ben Connor, Callum Hawkins will all be doing the marathon. Tom Bosworth will be doing the 20k racewalk. On the women's side, we have Stephanie Davis, Jess Payekski and Steph Twell all in the squad so far. A heartwarming story or three to finish. First, it was the Dubai Triathlon took place at the weekend and a father and son team took part to raise awareness about people with disabilities. Nick 51 and Rio 17 completed the triathlon, which is 1.9 kilometer swim, a 90k bike and a 20k run. Due to Rio's disabilities, Nick pulled him in a kayak in the swim section, used a special design bike for the bike leg and pushed Rio in a special design chair for the run leg. An amazing achievement, not only to do a triathlon, but try and get other families with disabilities out there racing and enjoying the sport of triathlon. So here in North Devon, Marley Rose 6, who has social anxiety and sensory processing disorder, and she loves her classes at the Gymnastics Academy in Barnstable. Well, she started her sponsored bike ride in February to raise money for her club. Her goal was to cycle 200 miles, but she has just passed the 600 mile mark and she decided to keep going until she reached a thousand miles. So fantastic achievement for someone who is six and just wanting to raise money for her club that she enjoys going to. Lastly, here in Exmouth in East Devon, a T-Rex has run 25 kilometers around Exmouth and Budley to raise money for the Exmouth RNLI. T-Rex, who was powered by Jay King, ran on Saturday and has raised over 900 pounds and he completed his run in just under five hours. So there we have it. Hope you bared with me a lot of stories this week, professional, but also some local heartwarming stories. If you've got any races coming up, please let me know in the description below what races you are doing. And as usual, all the stories will be posted on my Facebook page, which is Olivia Killing It during the week. And then at the weekend on the Sunday or the Monday, I do a little video of the roundup of all the stories. So enjoy this video, please give that a thumbs up, subscribe and whatever you do, hashtag Killing It.